Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. I want you all to see this magazine and to see how much trouble it bought for the fat man. I'm explaining to y'all. This is the 19 May 1971 Tina Turner on the cover after the Muhammad Ali Joe Frazier fight, the fight of the century. After niggas in the city seeing these pictures here of the fat man in the magazine, how jealous niggas got. It's lonely on the top after niggas seen the fat man out of the magazine. This is that real true shit. This ain't that TV shit. This is that real true shit. This is real true street crime. Subscribe, share, and like, and thank you to all. And let me go on to the day's story. That magazine, everybody in the country saw it. They pictures was in there before Frank Sinatra. People like that was at the fight in the fat man and Frank Lucas, Frank Lewis took the covers, took the pictures. Understand that it was the first fight in history. Black folks came out. It was the black folks coming out fight party. And all the niggas who didn't make it was jealous. Let me explain something to you. If John Classen went to the fight, he was ignored. No pictures in Ebony. Fat man sat next to Doc Gambino, his new connect. And let me go into it. It's lonely on the top. After everybody saw those pictures in the Ebony magazine, niggas got jealous than a motherfucker. And this is when Black Butch would be put into play even more. Let me explain to you what was going on in the fat man's life. After that fight and everybody saw those pictures, John Classen already knew Eddie Jackson was getting to be bigger than him or was bigger than him at that point. So he started holding out on serving the fat man. He didn't want to serve him. He'd act like he didn't have it, trying to let his joints and his thing get off before the fat man would get anything because John Classen was the first one to see Eddie Jackson rising bigger than himself. And it's hard for niggas to see someone bigger than yourself that you started become bigger than you. And sometimes you can't stop the freight train either. Let me explain to you what I'm saying. It's lonely on the top. John Classen don't want to serve him half-ass until he needs some money. Now, he didn't got to connect in New York and he is sure enough kicking ass. Here it is, his man, Devil. Devil Jackson, who is on the picture with Eddie Jackson, comes trying to shoot across. He runs up to New York because Pops had been going through Devil pretty much most of the time to get that thing. Devil had most of the connects, but some of them was hit and miss. Now the fat man had found Doc Gambino at the fight. Devil was there. Devil watched the blowing up all in his eyes and Devil circled around and ran to New York and tried to get Doc Gambino to serve him. Doc Gambino told Devil, the fat man is your man. I can't do nothing for you. Just that simple. Doc Gambino told him, the fat man is your man, and I can't do nothing for you. Sent Devil Jackson back home without anything. Told Devil Jackson he could not serve him. I'm explaining to y'all how cross outs come when you become big and niggas seeing you blow up and become that guy. Everybody around you is trying to cross you out. All the niggas was in the street jealous because you own every magazine, every motherfucker, everywhere you go. People is jealous. So now he got to bring Black Butch out the closet. He started staying on Oakland pretty much every day with Fairly. Butch would come out and take care of all the business, then bring him home and go all the little places he might want to go because he knew he was hot. And at the same time, let me give y'all another thing. Hancock, Jimmy Harris, understand this. Jimmy Harris made a deal with my father for him to sell $50,000 worth of dope every day. Eddie Jackson had long since broke that deal and had started selling way more than $50,000 in Hancock. 
and Jimmy Harris was running the Hancock Police Department at the time. So Jimmy Harris is the one who made the deal with the fat man, and not Jimmy Harris feel the fat man and broke their deal because he's selling more than fifty thousand dollars worth of dope, and they made one arrangement and one pay scale for fifty thousand. So Jimmy Harris runs into Hancock, raided and take everything, all the money, all the dope. Jimmy Harris took everything and called the fat man down to the Eastern Market. Bring your fat ass on down here. He had to let the fat man know, now you've been playing me, goddammit, like a fool, and I done ran in here and figured out you shouldn't have any time had more than $50,000 in here. You got over $100,000 in cash, and you got that much dope. So you having a $200,000 worth of dope a day out of this building, and you paying me $50,000? Bam, I won't mind. Jimmy Harris took all that money, told him, now you got to buy this dope back. You understand? Him and the Black Dispatchers down at the Eastern Market District. When this happens, all this has happened. It's lonely on the top. After everybody has seen this magazine, this Ebony layout, they all know the fat man must be one rich, fat, black bastard. Understand? Niggas were so hot with him. Everybody in the city was hot with the fat man. Everywhere he go, except for, of course, the ones he's taking care of. His fan base. You understand? The fat man always had to keep his fan base together. So I'm trying to explain to y'all, it's lonely on the top. Everybody around you trying to figure out how to cut your throat and clip you. Everybody want that million dollar, billion dollar connect with Doc Gambino you got. And a whole lot will try to get it. Understand that this is real true street crime. Subscribe, share, and like. And remember this, if you don't see me here, look for me on Real True Street Crime Podcast coming real soon. Check out Brittany Michelle Simmons, a fine young attorney out there scorching them. Check her out. She will definitely help you out. Wheels, divorces, deed, anything corporate. Brittany Simmons, check her out. She will help you out. Check out Jelani's Taste and Table. 420 style, a regular style, have it your way. Jelani's Taste and Table, world-class chef, straight out of Baker's College, got the medals around his neck to prove it. Jelani's Taste and Table, check your mouth for yourself. 420 style, a regular style, have it your way. Class and Matt Calf, loud delivery. Them brothers is awful loud out of HP. I smell them all the way over here. Clarence and Metcalf, loud delivery. Two loud brothers out of Highland Park, Michigan. Check them out for yourself. 420 style, gummy bears, edible food, or perhaps just that loud. Clarence and Metcalf, loud. Check out Top Tier Cuts 313, Super King, and The Weekend is just about here. Top Tier Cuts 313, Super King, for the weekend, baby, get your hair cut, lined, shaved, braided, whatever you may need. Top Tier Cuts 313, Super King for the weekend. And we got to go on and holler at Big Boss Phil over there scorching them. Podcast, Motown Mafia podcast on Spotify and Big Boss Film. Both of them over there setting the lines on fire. Check them out for yourself. This is Real True Street Crime. Subscribe, share, and like. And don't forget about Coney Island Chronicles. Coney Island Tony is Coney Island Chronicles. And we can't forget about Coney Island Chronicles. And without a doubt, I can't hold you another minute longer. Go over there to Spotify and check out Motown Mafia Podcast. And you got to check out Crime Town, Kingpin's Kids. And in the immortal words of Eddie Jackson, it's lonely on the top. I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all.